Hello, this is the Ashley Corinne, and I'm walking down to the diner by my house to uh, get a cup of coffee. That's amazing, because in this place, you can see the horse fields over here. This is in my neighborhood. Um, and uh, But I'm going to talk about karma. Um, now, and if I keep looking at the camera, it's because I'm trying to make sure it's looking at my face. Um, anyways, karma is something um, that you really need to, when you're in the context of using magic, karma should always be considered. You know, um, it's a concept that's plainly stated in the in the the rule of three or whatever um, whatever you give out will come back to you and they and in wicked they say by three but I you know that's a wicked thing I'm not I don't know if it really happens like that but what you give out comes back to you so if you cast a hurt uh, a curse or a hex I was gonna say curse and hex at the same time, so I said hurt. If you're gonna cast a hurt on someone, you put bring the pain, motherfucker. Bring the fucking pain. If you're gonna throw some hurt on someone, cast a hex or a curse or a, a destructive spell. Um, you just gotta be careful because that that shit can come back to you. Also, you know, in the in the flip side argument, if you cast spells for the benefit of others that can come back to you too now um Anton LaVey oh no there's there's old Anton again creeping into my uh, little videos anyways Anton LaVey said that there were three basic types of spells in satanic magic there's a destruction spell there is a, I can't remember the exact term, but a compassion spell or something. I think that's the term he used. And then there's a love spell. Now, or a, a, um, a, I don't know if he called it a love spell, but like a lust spell or something like that. Anyways, that that's kind of breaks it down pretty well. Except I would say that there are, I, I agree with him when he says that there is uh, destruction spells and there's compassion spells where you're helping someone else. I don't know if compassion is the right word, I'll look it up. But, um, you know, where you're helping someone or you're, you know, like if someone's sick and you want them to get better and you cast a spell to make them better or something like that, you know, that's just an example. And then, the third type of spell, which he calls the sex or the lust spell or something. It's been a while since I read that book. Um, but I would change that to be a desire spell. So if you desire sex, or if you desire money, that a desire spell is basically getting what you want. Um... You know, and that could be a love spell to attract a mate, or, you know, like I said, a money spell, or like if you want something to happen. Like, let's say, uh, but see, the thing about a desire spell is it's for you. A compassion spell is a similar thing, except it's for someone else. But a desire spell is for you. And like I was talking about karma, and if you throw... Hold on, let me check the timer. Okay, we're at four and a half. If you check the... Uh, or, I mean, uh, like if you cast a destructive spell, destructive things can come back to you. If you cast a compassionate spell, compassionate things can come back to you. But what about a desire spell? How does it work in that? Well, this is just an example, but... Um, back in the day, a few years ago, when I was 21, when I was first uh, a newcomer to the craft, 
Um, I cast a lot of desire spells, which came to fruition. They were successful. I got what I wanted. Um, but then, in that in that kind of space of time, um, there was an incident where I was walking to the gas station, and this was this was when I was actually cross-dressing in public. So I was wearing a skirt, and uh, I didn't have any pockets, and I didn't have a purse, so I was just carrying my wallet. My wallet had two hundred dollars in it. Somewhere between leaving to go to the gas station and getting to the gas station, my wallet just disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. I think I set it down and maybe one of my friends stole it because I was with my friends. But I kind of got the feeling it was like, that was karma, man. You know, I was just being too, uh, too selfish and too frivolous with the craft. I'm going to get a copy.